Hey what's up guys, it's that kid Jake and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the OS X El Capitan developer beta preview that Apple just released uh, about a week ago at WWDC. Now uh, first as a disclaimer, this is just a beta so uh, I would say use this and download it at your own risk. Um, obviously um, it's going to work for the most part that you, but you might still run into a few bugs or things not might work properly and stuff like that and some apps just uh, just won't open just because it's not supported by the new operating system but for the most part everything's gonna work fine like your iTunes or Safari just you might run into a few bugs and to be honest this is probably the smoothest uh, developer developer beta that I've ever used um, to be honest and it's been working perfectly I ran into a very small amount of bugs but not really enough to say that oh I can't stand using this and I have to go back um, so yep as you can see here on the about my Mac uh, page I am running El Capitan and uh, first things first I highly recommend that you back up all of your storage uh, on your computer make sure everything's backed up on uh, a USB device your know, portable storage device whatever it is uh, just because you know something might happen on the install or you might realize that you know this is too buggy for me or something that you want to use may not work so like you can easily go back to uh, the previous uh, operating system uh, that you would like to go back to so uh, once you get that out of the way then uh, you can go ahead and download El Capitan. So the first thing I would do is go to your browser of choice and go to this website. It's imzdl.com. Now this is probably one of the most uh, popular uh, websites for downloading betas uh, from Apple. They also do uh, iOS betas as well. So this is a place you go to for all that stuff and it stands for iMod Zone Downloads. Um, so you want to just head over to the download section here and go to OS X betas and you're going to go all the way to the third link here and it will say OS 10 10.11 beta 1 and this is the first developer beta uh, you can torrent this or you can have a direct download I usually do the direct download because you know I might as well just do it it's easier that way uh, and once it's downloaded which I have already downloaded you're just going to open up the file here it's about six gigabytes so depending on your internet speed uh, that will be how long it takes for what your internet is. Um, so it's using the archive utility right now because it, it does download as a zip file so it just takes a little bit of time for it to open up since it's a r rather large file. Um, so we'll just wait for this to go up and while this is opening I'll, I will also mention that even though if you're not a developer uh, you can uh, also just wait for the uh, public beta you can just sign up on Apple's website. I'll have a link in the the description just to let you guys know um, how you can sign up and then they usually it's like a few weeks after the, the developers get it so um, it's they're slightly different and but it's still nice uh, this is you can get it the you know the legit way uh, if you go through the public beta program uh, which is nice which you know if you aren't a developer it's just a more safer way for you okay so once you uh, unzip that file you're going to have install OS 10.11 developer beta and just going to open that up here and I will say uh, last time that I did it um, it took a very long time for it to verify um, it took like maybe around 10 minutes which is sort of unusual and I was about to just you know skip this update or just like wait for the public beta because it was not working but it does take a little bit of time so just to leave it open for you know five to ten minutes uh, I'm not sure how uh, different it is for everybody I only have one Mac to install it on um, so it will take a little bit of time to verify so that is just one thing to keep in mind don't think that it's not working it's just m might take a while so that's the reason for that and I'm not gonna let you guys wait for ten minutes but basically it's just like every other uh, download uh, that uh, Apple has um, you're just gonna click continue it's going to reboot your system and the install process takes about 20 to 30 minutes and uh, once you it's just going to restart and you're going to be running El Capitan so uh, since I already have it I'm not going to go through this again um, so but that's basically how you do it there's no UDID registration you have to do like you would have to do with iOS uh, at least most people do and uh, so yeah that's all that there is to it it's pretty simple and um, there's really not that much risk involved here, but I highly recommend to just make sure and back up your um, 
your uh, storage before you actually install the update just in case you might run into any problems uh, or some type of crash might happen so just uh, keep on looking out for that but other than that everything's been running really well um, uh, all the features have been pretty cool and uh, I have a 2014 uh, Retina MacBook Pro and it's been actually running about just as fast and maybe even faster than uh, Yosemite which El Capitan is supposed to be, do, uh, be doing so yeah that's how you get El Capitan if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below um, it's not that hard of a process but uh, I can answer any of you guys' question or even if you have questions about the, the actual software itself feel free to send me those messages anyways guys thanks for watching this video and have a great day